Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm Tane from Junior Programmer and this time around I'm also bringing you a video, new video in which I'll show you a cool CSS trick um, with flashcards where it's like the flashcards are placed and they flip over. Now as you can see when the screen size changes, I'm just using inspect to change the screen size. So whenever it changes, um, the flashcards adjust automatically. So this will also be in the code that we'll write. So first of all, let's move on to the HTML file. Here you can see I have all the images in the directory and I'm using VS code. You could use any other editor that you want. So first of all, um, for the HTML, HTML will have the, all the output, the markup languages, and then we'll use the classes within the HTML to refer to the style um, and so on. So first of all, I'm just simply defining the tag, for example, the doc type, the hit tag, HTML tag, meta tag, all these just kind of um, required tags within the HTML. Then I'm writing the title of the web page, the CSS flip card as the title, and now we'll link the style sheet. So the style sheet will be linked and I'm, I'll code it afterwards. So let's move on. First of all, the horizontal flip. Um, which is within the body tag so as you can see i'm creating a div uh, with a class flip and within that is, in the, is another div um, in which there is a background image and then there's a class of uh, text so this is like the front part of the card and then moving on um, the class uh, is back this is like the back card uh, back part of the card so here i'll simply write a uh, quote so I'll simply write a code here which will appear on the back side of the card. As you can see I'm just writing a code, um, a complete code. Just write whatever you want uh, here uh, within the P tag, the paragraph tag. So these are just 7 to 8 pieces of line that are for one card. So similarly I'll repeat these uh, lines again for the other card, the second card um, which, which is for the leg. Um, as you can see now moving on to the back part of the card. So I'm writing code and then writing the code within the P tag, the paragraph tag. So this is just as simple as you can see. Nothing much different, nothing much difficult with the HTML structure and nothing much like difficult to learn, simple. So moving on to the third card, as you can see again the same structure is there. First of all is the flip class, then is the front class and also as you can see the background image. Um, I'm writing, I'm giving the URL to the image which is relative to the path where my file is currently there so in the same folder is the image folder and then within there are the images so that is how i'm specifying the images in each of the cards so now again moving on to the div the class pack the code and within that is the code uh, just as the previous ones so now for the vertical for the vertical flip the class has slightly changed it has changed into flip vertical so this will just give a vertical flip instead of the horizontal flip as you can all tell from the name so the other things are almost the same for example the diff within that the second div is the same which is the front uh, with the class front and the image is also put in there and then is the uh, you can see the thing that will appear on the front of the card and then is the code um, and then is now moving on to the fifth card um, it will also have a vertical flip again i'm using the same format um, first of all the header for the front of the uh, for the front of the card then moving on with the classes back and then writing the code word in the header tag a h2 and then the paragraph in which i'm actually writing the code itself and this uh, will then repeat for the final one the final the sixth image and um, the sixth image um, the same exact thing will be done just um, changing the text within the um, code and the and the text that will appear on the front of the card so just as simple as that uh, as you can see nothing much difficult so this was all i'm also putting a, foot, a footer and this is the all of the structure of the html file so now we'll move on to the CSS file the important file for this kind of projects because all the cool animations and the styling will be done in the CSS part um, you could uh, please pay attention on this part so you can understand how everything is done so first of all I'll start by importing the uh, the fonts from the Google so this is just one complete line and I'm importing the for, uh, fonts and then I'm, I'll move on to the styling 
So as you can see, I've started from the styling of the whole document. Um, aesthetic means the whole document. I'm just giving some box sizing and font width. And then moving on, I'll, just, I'll then just um, style different tags and different classes according to the um, HTML document. So for body, the, then for H1, then flip, and then flip front and flip back, all these kind of things. I'm just defining some attributes, for example, the color, the background, the text align, um, the font size, the position, and all these kind of things. I'm also defining a transition timing function. It is like the animation that will um, take effect so it is a kind of animation and some and some of its attributes within that then is transition duration 0.5 seconds and so on similarly i'm going for flip front and flip back which is just some attributes um, for styling for example position opacity top width transform and all these kind of things then for flip hover when i hover onto the flip card uh, which is on the front so it will simply rotate 180 degrees and then similarly for the hover on the back it will again rotate by zero degrees and the opacity becomes one so this means the transparency is removed um, similarly for the flip vertical we are for the flip vertical it is the same but we're using the rotate on the x-axis um, and for the hover on the flip vertical we're using the rotate on the x-axis so similarly we are doing for the hover on the back and so on and then the flip class where we are again defining some attributes the position the display margins from bottom and right and the width um, these are just some basic um, CSS styling as I've told you before um, that are important so that um, we could give the cool effects that we want in the output so they seem to they can seem to be a lot of text but this is just all required for styling so similarly now we'll move on to the flip front flip back and again some styling for example the background position the color the radius the um, padding and all this kind of th uh, stuff similarly for flip um, in the front paragraph and flip in the back paragraph so this so it is like the paragraph within the flip where we have actually written the code so again the font size line height and the color is displayed so this will be the color in which the font will be displayed and then the text uh, shadow so i'm again i'm defining the text shadow so as you can see um, i'm defining different colors um, at different pixels at different positions so these are just um, some css style sheet um, things you do not need to worry about this you could simply just use my style sheet exactly exactly the way it is um, to get the same animation or you could just keep on changing a little bit of values and see how it changes and you could innovate your own outputs so i'm finished with the uh, CSS style sheet and then is the output as you can see um, these two um, flip on the vertical side um, and this one flip on the horizontal side so this is the difference uh, for example these one flip from the top to bottom and the upper ones where it is written like ocean they flip from right to left so this is the difference between them um, between vertical and horizontal and as you can see as I resize my screen they all come in one single line so this is also defined in the CSS style sheet um, simply and this is how you could achieve a cool animation so thanks for watching my video and I hope to see you all in the next video um, please give me a thumbs up for this video so I can keep on make, making much more content like this and if there's any suggestion any project you'd like me to do please mention it in the comments I'll surely look forward to it and if you haven't subscribed my channel please subscribe my youtube channel and keep on following me see you in the next video goodbye